who is grinding the skin in Pearl Curtain and Jade Curtain. Fans of Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning started fighting again, and they were the only ones losing. Pearl Curtain and Jade Curtain has released a set of finalizing specials. Starring Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning, the drama is adapted from the novel The Legend of Kunch and Jade. It tells the story of a pearl fishing girl who goes west to do business with the mysterious businessman Yan Zijing during the Dragon Boat Festival. Along the way, she meets the poet Zhang Jinren and her friend Yu Yangxiu, and becomes a businesswoman after going through many storms s story. It is not difficult to tell from the literal meaning that this is Zhao Lucy's first real heroine coming of age drama. However, after the final special episode was released, fans of Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning started quarreling over who had the skin polished. Both sides accused each other of being skinny, and the language was vulgar and very unpleasant. There was a lot of quarrels in the square on related topics. The show has been in constant turmoil from before it started filming to the end of filming. Fans are constantly fighting with each other, and the only loser in the end is the show itself. Each other accuses the other of skin grafting, but the truth is confusing. After the final special episode was released to everyone, some people said that the leading actor Liu Yuning is a modern brother, with a smooth skin. An additional explanation was given that Lian Yuning changed his age and pretended to be a 90s generation. He stayed up late every day to broadcast live. The skin condition on his face was so bad that he had to turn on the level 10 filter to beautify his face in order to survive in the costume idol drama. Soon, in the face of these accusations, fans fought back and posted screenshots of Lian Yuning's Spring Festival Gala. They said that look at the condition of Lian Yuning's skin. It is like skin, moist and youthful. CCTV's high-definition lens can still withstand it. I'm afraid it will wear off. There is another person who uses the filter. Liu's fan power should not be underestimated. They quickly found a big fan who was suspected of being Zhao Lucy and said that this was her inside story. All the special effects of the filter and skin resurfacing were done to facilitate Zhao Lucy. Full stop. Immediately afterwards, comparison pictures of Zhao Lucy before and after microdermabrasion appeared on the internet. The two parties were at loggerheads with each other, and the matter became a confusing rashomon. No one knew who was responsible. Because at first glance, it seems that what both sides are saying makes sense. Zhao Lucy has always been criticized for her face being too fleshy. She often looks at angles, and it seems possible to use a small face filter. As for Liu Yuning, he stays up late all year long during live broadcasts, his skin condition is not very good, and his appearance is not very good, so he needs a thick filter to enhance it. Fans of the two groups were very clear when they were fighting. They knew exactly where the other side's pain points were. They spoke mercilessly and argued with reason. All of them were verified. For a while, it was impossible to know the truth. Who was the real one? A skinned person? Fans go on strike to fight for status as filming begins. This is not the first time that fans of Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning have quarreled. There was already a lot of action before the filming of this drama started. The reason is that this drama is Zhao Lucy's first major female protagonist, so fans attach great importance to it. It is said that the plot mode is similar to Yang Zi's Sauvignon Blanc, with the female protagonist and male protagonist 1v3. However, it has been slow to announce which actors will be finalized. What kind of promise did the crew give Zhao Lucy? The incident broke out when Kuo Xiao was originally proposed as the male lead, but was replaced by Liu Yuning. Although Kuchuxia was burdened with domestic violence and other negative news, he couldn't stand it because he had hit idol dramas and movies and was of the right age, so Zhao Lucy's fans were very satisfied at first. As a result, it turned out to be Lian Yuning, a second merit internet celebrity who climbed out of the live broadcast room. His appearance depends entirely on finding angles and filters. The fans quit immediately, and the support club went on strike and disbanded at that time, feeling that Lian Yuning was not worthy of their Zhao Lucy. This matter is actually very confusing. Because Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning had the well-known actress Hao Yan before, many viewers at that time hoped that the two could have a chance to date each other. Why did they actually have a relationship, but some people protested? Perhaps the deeper reason is that fans hope to demand more and hope that Zhao Lucy will be taken more seriously by the crew and have a higher status. Of course, Liu Yuning's fans are not vegetarians, and the other party is not to be outdone saying that it is because of the addition of their idols that this originally only A-level production drama has become S+. The purpose of fans is very simple, it is to prove their idols' position in the entertainment industry, and they also want to use the power of fans to strive for higher rights and status for their idol. Passersby had a bad impression and only the crew was injured in the end. The fans are really awesome, 
but for passers-by, it's just one farce after another. Even before filming started, there were constant disputes, which left a bad impression on people. After the deal was finalized, they blamed their opponents, which gave people a sense of disunity between them. The first episode was a blast. I binge watched four episodes in one go and only then did I realize that Wang Yebo's new drama is so addictive. Text and Quing. Editor 9527 Maya Gujin. The market for spy war dramas has been in a sluggish stage. Spy war dramas need to be hits, but the spy war dramas that have been launched in the past two years, no matter how explosive the lineup, no matter how eye-catching the configuration, can never meet the expectations of the audience. Infernal Affairs starring Jin Dong was originally thought to be another pretender, but the dub and score barely exceeded five points. Thin Ice, Happy Face, and Stalker, which are also spy war themes, each has a more luxurious lineup than the last, but the broadcast effect is very dismal. After waiting and waiting, the 2024 Storm Chaser can be said to be the only work that can save the spy war fans. As expected, the popularity of Storm Chaser exploded in the first episode it was released. According to data, the popularity of the TV series Storm Chaser soared by 525% immediately after its release, ranking first on the soaring list. After watching four episodes, you can basically lock in the hit spot. Full of suspense and eye-catching, Storm Chaser interprets a different kind of spy war. In the audience's impression, the spy war theme must be related to open fire and hidden guns, but Storm Chaser is actually about espionage competition in the economic field. Wei Ruole, played by Wang Yibo, joins the enemy party's central bank as an ordinary employee. After growing up, he discovers the enemy party's dark corruption in the financial field. His mentor Shen Tunan, played by Wang Yang, vividly explains how he went from working hand-in-hand -hand at the beginning to working with evil later. It's a pity that we have different paths and don't work together. The premier plot of Storm Chaser demonstrates the quality of this drama. In 1930, all forces gathered in Shanghai, and Shen Tunan encountered an earth-shattering deliberate murder as soon as he went online. Shen Tunan walked into the bank gate, and his car was directly detonated. While the audience was shocked, Shen Tunan, played by Wang Yang, was embarrassed and cool, saying this is the fourth time they have killed me to express the character situation. Shopping malls are like battlefields. I thought that the style of Storm Chaser would be about commercial struggle, but I didn't expect that Storm Chaser would be a real game. Immediately afterwards, the male protagonist Wei Ruole finally appeared. He was among a group of ordinary people speculating in the stock market. The soaring stock prices made everyone's blood swell, but Wei Ruole saw the situation clearly at a glance. The games in financial wars are always mixed with ordinary people. With his hard-earned money, he promptly sold the stocks in his hands, shorted the market, and avoided losing all his money before the stock price halved. In just a few minutes, the audience watched the stock price gradually rise, and then saw the stock price fall to the bottom. This ups and downs of the plot directly controls the audience's rhythm of following the drama. And this is just the beginning. In the main storyline of the premiere, there is Wei Ruole's growth storyline, Shen Jinzun, played by Li Ken, S Rescue Operation, and Shen Tunan's financial espionage front. Multiple lines run in parallel, the plots are interconnected and functional, but each is independent, and the characters and story are quite rich. At least for now, the depth and rhythm of Storm Chaser have reached the standards of a hit drama. What really retains the audience is not only the plot, but also the wonderful portrayal of the actors. Wang Yang performs steadily, and Wang Yebo's acting skills improve by leaps and bounds. As the Uncle Cheyenne K, Wang Yang's image and acting ability have always been highly recognized. In The Storm Chaser, his acting performance was completely within the audience's expectations. He portrays Shen Tunan as a noble and ruffian. As a senior consultant, he has a sharp vision and grasps the overall situation. In the face of various explosive events, Wang Yang's attitude is always calm and lazy. There is a section in the plot where Shen Tunan is negotiating over the phone. Wang Yang's tone is actually very friendly, his voice is elegant and calm, but Wang Yang's expression shows sharp eyes and a gloomy face, and there is murderous intention hidden under his noble face. From all around, Shen Tunan's scheming and ruthless side was immediately revealed. In the subsequent plots, Shen Tunan will have many confrontations with Wei Ruilei. They seem to be masters and apprentices, like father and son, but eventually become enemies. This character relationship line will definitely be more vivid because of Wang Yang's shaping. As for Wang Yibo, the audience has already seen his rapid progress in acting. In the play, Wei Ruilei, played by Wang Yibo, is a young and talented young man. He has the spirit of a young man, 
and he appears as a down-and-out young man who chases the wind when he appears. He is full of expectations for the future, but he is also very down-to-earth. In the plot, Wang Yanbo's temperament is eye-catching. Both he himself and his previous portrayal on the screen have a bit of King's style, but in Storm Chaser, his performance is more relevant to a small character, and the nervous and detailed interpretation during the interview is simply a true reflection of contemporary young people. In Wang Yanbo's performance, the audience can see the youthfulness and simplicity like Jade. In contrast, Li Ken's image in the play is even more mature and complete. Shen Jinzhen, played by Li Ken, is an underground member of our party. When the mainline financial war is in full swing, Shen Jinzhen holds a sniper rifle and carries out the rescue mission assigned by his superiors. The mission failed, which made Shen Jinzhen even more panicked and anxious. She had firm beliefs and was full of hatred and anger towards the enemy. There is a scene in the plot where Shen Jinzhen is injured and undergoes wound cleaning, and Li Qin's performance progresses step by step. She frowns slightly because of the wound to show the character's forbearance. In the end, she can't bear it anymore and expresses her impatience when she can carry out the task at any time. Perfectly established the character's stance. You can see the tenacity like a weed on Li Qin's face, and her portrayal of the perseverance and tenacity of the character is also outstanding and unforgettable. The last actor who amazed the audience was veteran drama star Yang Kun. She played the role of Aunt Jo, who wanted to make a fortune from stocks. In the stock exchange market, she looked like a gambler, and her face could not hide the feeling of age. His face was full of pride and satisfaction after seeing the stock price rise. As a result, when the stock price fell, Aunt Jo immediately turned against her. She complained about Wei Rue who gave her some advice. The contrast from greed to awakening showed the mentality of a gambler in one fell swoop. Of course, the role of Aunt Jo is very complicated. She is not just a small stock investor. Later, when Aunt Jo and Wei Ruli are in the same frame, they will find that she is actually a very friendly elder. Actor Yang Kun also performed a character with multiple sides. In short, the eye-catching character setting of Storm Chaser is inseparable from the wonderful performance of the actors. However, whether a drama can become a hit depends on many factors. Storm Chaser has made a good start. Whether it can maintain it depends more on the subsequent plot direction and plot quality. Finally, what do you think of Wang Yebo's new drama The Storm Chaser? Which actor's portrayal do you like best? Join the discussion in the comment area and talk about your expectations for this drama. Think about it from another angle, if the male and female protagonists are having such a quarrel off-screen, how many friendly sparks can flash out when they work together. This makes people imagine that when the two of them were working together, they said I love you, but in their hearts they actually cursed MMP. The audience didn't believe that in such a state, the two of them could bring out the perfect combination of CP. 